land to a by CI in the opposite to RCLB, ready to spread. He was there was looking. a lanterns that he yeah. saw. Yeah, and so Paul, <clears throat> my Paul, was riding <laughs> from Charlestown to Medford, to Arlington, to Lexington, first shot heard around the world, Lexington, on to Concord. And then after that, that, trade and bands and music and Paul, we would go to the marathon. And at the marathon, Boston Marathon in 1955, there were 200 runners. Last week, there was 30,000. No, 30, 30, 30, 30, uh, then, after the, the marathon, we'd zip over to Fenway Park to see the opener of the Red Sox. Those three things on all birthday. happened on my birthday because of Longfellow. Longfellow. Isn't that cool? Where did you get the book? Well, this is you know, the a classic book? book, and I've butchered the poem, but, but you're gonna, this is a partner poem. You're going to share a little bit of it when I, I'm going to pause. But it goes like this, Bruce Cole's Ride. Um, <laughs> listen to our family and friends, and you shall hear of the amazing journey of Bruce Cole, <laughs> the man who had such a great soul. On the 19th of April in 33, is that the right year? Yeah. A man is born. <laughs> We all remember that famous day and year. He grew into a young boy, and he said to his parents, I'm heading out to Maine to work in a farm. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> Three summers. <laughs> Three summers. Three summers. Upon return, he finished his schooling. He took a tour as a soldier. Korea? He stayed in stateside. <laughs> North Carolina. North Carolina. 18 months. He took a tour as a soldier. He was ready to ride and spread the freedom through his work as a patriot for the country to be free and safe. Then he said, enough. And with a muffled cry, I'm off to Marble College. <laughs> and went Where he met his wife to be. Is this all true? Nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> met in Boston. Met in Boston. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then off to Pennsylvania he went to teach and begin their family. Is where you are that from? Yes. <laughs> he was born then. Yep. Meanwhile, back in the village, his friends called to him back to Marlboro and told him to teach. So he climbed up the steps of the one-room schoolhouse <laughs> <laughs> up the stage, to, to the blackboard overhead <laughs> to guide the children of the town. Then an old farmhouse on the hill became his abode with his young bride. Soon after came the pitter-patter of many feet. Uh, four more amazing children <laughs> blessed the old farmhouse. There the sound of laughter and joy and apple cider being made was heard, the sweet smell of maple cider, maple sap being Ma boiled, maple cider. the sound of chainsaws, Woo! yes, chainsaw sound sounds, um, and uh, wood being stacked rang out, marching along the journey with camp children running over the hillside. Well, you know the rest. The stories you've read, Bruce and Barbara lived well. Raised their family Lived. and welcomed yes, ten, ten, <laughs> ten, ten, ten grandchildren and one great grandchild. So through the night and years rode Bruce Cole. Eighty-five years have come to pass, and his message of love, compassion, and caring carried on. Oh, we, oh. Love, we love you. Thank you. Thank you. It's funny because I. Right, yeah. right. right. I had asked uh, I had asked Courtney to look up Henry Wordsworth Longfellow, the Midnight Rider following beer, and read it so that Sorry. Sawyer could have Sorry. it memorized by the time Bridget gets up there. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's appropriate that uh, uh, that was true. I really thought that this whole event was for me. Yeah. Uh, 